Hi everybody, it's Liam Phillips here with the uh, fabulous, amazing NPOP show, which stands for No Problems, Only Possibilities, which is very similar to the seven-day club in Nankawi. It's um, uh, of a similar name. How does it get any better than that? So uh, what do we know about possibilities and about uh, getting around problems? And today we have the amazing uh, Monica, Monica Marta Gilliam. Uh, uh, it's, it's a long name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Monica. I keep on wanting to call you Marta this, uh, this morning for some reason. Um, she's joining us from Texas. Uh, we have a Facebook page together. Uh, if you're not on it, you might like to join us on it. It's called Receiving from Nature Spirits. And basically, that's what we're going to have a chat about today is um, communing with nature spirits. So, Monica, do you want to like jump in and? Sure, sure. Um, first of all, thank you, Liam, for initiating this and everybody for jumping on. I am so excited to be having this conversation more and more in the world in general. What what are the spirits of nature? Who are the spirit, spirits of nature? And why would we even talk to them? <laughs> what, what is that? What is that for each of us? This is such an exciting topic for me to explore as I am so nurtured by this earth and by the different energies and entities and beings and creatures that are here in all of the forms. And I, I love to, um, to chat about that and to see what it is that others know about that and what else we can tap into to expand the possibilities for communion, for simultaneous contribution. So that's, that's what I have to say to begin with. <laughs> that's cool because um, I was just about to ask okay so what is communion and then you and just as I was thinking that question you said simultaneous contribution is that the words that you use yeah, yeah yeah so can we can we talk a little bit more about or can you talk a little bit more about communion what it is what it what what we think it might be and what it yeah. is so <laughs> Just recently, I was on in the SOP class, the Symphony of Possibilities class with Dr. Dane here in Charleston. It just ended yesterday. And we were, so for those of you who are not familiar with that, the Symphony of Possibilities is a whole universe of energy of being present with one another to really be the gift of no judgment, to be the gift of no point of view, so that we can be present with one another and assist each other in anything that we would like to shift that maybe we've been getting stuck in. And, um, and so one thing that we talk about a lot in Access is really, you know, letting down your barriers, being present, being aware, and letting go of all of the judgments and points of view that somehow either skew your perception or lock you into something, whatever it is, a lie or whatever. And so in the class, one of the huge things that we were really acknowledging is how simply being present allows for an exchange of energy. And that to me more and more and more is what I am recognizing as communion. A lot of the time we can kind of equate communion and communication. And those there's different energy to to those two words or to those two ideas. And communication, some people think that communication is when you talk to each other. But that is not necessarily always the case. I mean, many of us can go out into nature and be present with everything and not be talking to anything, but still receiving and being you know, impacted by, affected by, nurtured by the energies of a space or of 
a tree or of the yes. animals, whatever it is. And that simple presence and it is that gifting and receiving that, that flow of energy between back and forth that for me is more of what communion is. And when we take it out of that concept of that it's talking, that really opens up a lot more possibilities with communing with nature spirits. Not all nature spirits speak in languages the way that we do. And simply being present can, can allow you to be receiving. And that receiving, that is that exchange, is that communion as, as I am perceiving it these days. And I'm curious what, what else people know about communion that we can all tap into here together today and into the future. Yeah, I was listening to Shannon and Hara the other day uh, talking about this very subject, communication and communion, and the, um, the energy that's behind that communion. And I had a look at in my own life where um, when I was a teacher, I would sit down and have parent teacher interviews. For some of the kids that I worked with, we had a whole team. One particular team we had was actually 21 people just for one child. And I would sit there and I would look at people and I would be this particular energy. And for many people, it really spooked them out because, you know, they thought, oh, Liam's looking into my very soul and he's like, what's he doing? And, and um, what happened was that people tend to put the borders or barriers up towards that. And I learned to actually cut that um, energetic communion out of my life. And in so doing, it created a lot of um, weirdness in my reality. Now, I only recognized that sort of like yesterday. And it was like, so, so cool to be talking about it today in more depth. Um, so, Monica, can we, can we have a look a bit more? Have you got some more information or awareness around um, being present and lowering our barriers and, and so receiving uh, nature spirits? Yeah, yes. So I was just on the, um, well, I have the great fortune to be an oracle for access, which means that I am in all of Dr. Dane here's classes and then all of Dane and Gary's telecalls. And so I've got a bunch of information coming from a, different a bunch of different places. And just recently I was in the Art of Seduction Through Silence telecall that Gary did. And it's so interesting with this, you know, um, silence is really that space of awareness where we're not chattering away. And listening, a lot of the time when we're talking to each other, we're not listening. <laughs> and we're just like waiting for our chance to say the next thing. And um, what comes up in what you were just talking about, Liam, is, is that space of listening to the silence. It really is lowering your barriers to be present with the space of possibilities rather than just limiting ourselves to just the, the busy chatter that's going on, which is not to say that we would exclude our awareness of the chatter, but that there's more than just the chatter going on. And with um, some other things that we've been looking at in Access, it's like there's a lot of um, secrets and lies and other energies that we may be aware of all the time. And, and the thing about lowering the barriers for me at this moment is that. I, I grew up with uh, basically being aware of a lot of different things and some kind of 
uh, things that people didn't want me to be aware of or points of view that I had that made it so that I didn't want to be aware of certain things or certain energies. And so this kind of secret hiding world began to be formed for me. I began to choose a world where I wasn't looking at everything. But really lowering your barriers is revealing everything. It's revealing everything to you about you and revealing everything to everyone else about you, which if you have a lot of judgments of you, you might not choose. But if you can actually really let go of the judgments and just be like, yes, this is, this is me. This is where I am. Hi. Hello, world. That, for me, as I step into more and more of this demand to like let go of the judgments, I find that it's easier for me to reveal everything. And the information that comes back, maybe somebody sees me with my barriers down and they have a point of view about me. <coughs> That's just information. Cool. Maybe that point of view is useful for me. I didn't even notice that about me. Or maybe that point of view is just totally made up. But as I let go and lower my barriers, I get to know more of me. And I'm willing to be more and to look at more, which allows me to know more and to receive more and to perceive more right? The knowing, being, perceiving, and receiving all go together. And so letting our barriers down, being vulnerable with all of it, all of the muck and the beauty and everything that somebody else might have a point of view of, opens up this world of awareness that is fun for me <laughs> and also more of what it is that I need to be to commune or to be present with the nature spirits or entities without bodies or beings that don't speak English or, you know, look like I do, you know. So being present with a tree, being present with an animal, those barriers and all of those judgments, they're just not very relevant and they're also not useful. Mm. Does that get out your... Oh, totally. And I'm so glad that you brought up... Uh, one, I'm so glad that you brought up that idea of, oh, we're so often waiting to say what we want to say. And so I was practicing just listening, and then, you, and then you brought up tree. And that word tree just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff that I would... Uh, that, that's been coming up in my reality. And it's... For me, trees are one of those places where I can really connect in with nature. Just by touching the tree or being around the tree, I'm looking at a big, big tree right now, and it's one of those trees that has that capacity to link in with all the other trees around the place. And um, that's a great exercise for people to to take away with them is to find something in nature that they connect with. Some people it's water, some people it's trees, some people it's flowers, some people it's animals. And um, practice lowering your barriers because what I what I found is that the trees don't, don't have any barriers and they don't have any judgments of who or what I be or what I look like or whether I'm an asshole or whether I'm kind. They, they're just totally willing to be them and I don't pick up all of their points of view either about, because they don't have points of view or barriers up like humans do, or people do. So I'm, I'm not, I find it a lot easier to use a tree to practice being present with. And so being present with, and being present with a tree and the nature spirits of trees has been a great gift in my reality. Um, I remember us being in, uh, I, I can't remember where Vienna? It was. I think it was Vienna. Vienna, yeah, Vienna. Yeah. And you were yeah. standing next to this tree and having a conversation with it. And I'm going, oh my God, Monica's going nuts again. Holy shit. Um, yeah. uh, and 
those are, I mean, those weren't really even my thoughts. Uh, <clears throat> but this, it, these are the thoughts that people often project onto people that have capacities to commune and communicate in different ways. And um, so it was, it was really great fun to, to, to have one nut and another nut or weirdo, um, widow witch, um, and, and, and be there with her. And it, it opened up my communi communing. So, um, yeah, so that might be something that you guys like to take away with you is to find, to find that thing in nature that you can really connect with and lower your barriers and have a play. You know, what that brings up for me, Liam, is just this question of how many of us in the many different lifetimes that we've had have had to hide our capacities or have chosen to hide our capacities with the nature spirits or with, you know, non-humans. And what if right now we could just recognize that we don't have to hide that anymore? You know, there I was in Vienna with Liam and that specific day we were going on a walk and I was like, hey, we have to go down this street. Something's calling me. And then we got to this place and it was like, oh, it's this tree. And I just received the beauty of the tree and then asked for even more, um, like if I could be a contribution to this tree, any of the projections that people had placed at that tree, it was one tree in the middle of a city, you know? And it's funny because it's like, yeah, definitely at other times, I would not have said that out loud to anybody. I would have made up some reason that, oh, I just want to stand here for a moment. Yeah. I'll have a cigarette but, or something like right, that. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> but actually, you know, there are people that we can have this, these conversations with, like all of you who are here. I mean, thank you for being leaders in stepping into something that is available for us and not only a gift to us, but a gift to this entire planet, mm -hmm. you know, and we don't have to hide it anymore. You might not, you know, run into the middle of, you know, your church meeting and talk about how you're communing with the plants, but you might, who knows, you know, you get to be present with like where you can sh say these things, but you can say them. And whether you say them or not, you can be that and you can, you can be present in ways that nobody else knows how to be just you, you know, and we don't have to hide it anymore. It's like consciousness is not, we're not going to be burnt at the stake anymore. Damn, no burnings today. <laughs> <laughs> Shucks, it was so explosive and fun. <laughs> um, what I'd like to, uh, I, I know that there may be some questions that people might like to ask. We've got about 12 minutes. This is just a half an hour show. Um, so if, if you do have a question, you can either type it in the box um, on the chat box or you can unmute yourself and go, hey, Monica, Liam, shut the hell up. I want my say. I want to communicate. <laughs> um, and just while people are maybe coming up with a question, what when we were actually talking about that tree, that there was just so much energy. <laughs> it's sort of like... It was amazing because Monica and I spent like three or four weeks together in in Europe, and and it and as soon as I mentioned that tree, she went straight there. So there's like there's already a, a level of energetic communication going on, and as I speak about it, I can tap into that tree right now, and even though that tree is uh, cemented in the one place, quote unquote, it's like bringing awareness to it as um, like just tapping into all of that energy of, of that tree and all the other trees that that tree is connected to and the planet and the, like my whole body is just starting to buzz and become alive just as we have this conversation. And what a, what a gift that is. I have a few other people maybe having something similar going on in their reality. Probably not, no, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melody. Oh, I, I, oh. oh, go ahead. Do you have a question? Go for it. 
I have a quick question. Yeah. I just, when, when listening, you know, um, when you're beginning to, you know, you're having those feelings that you know that you can listen, which is, this is the stage I feel that I'm at where I don't, I don't hear anything, um, you know, and I, and I recognize that that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not hearing anything <laughs> um, on a different level, but I just, do you have any tips as to how to, if you have an overactive mind, let's say, how do you commune? How do you get to that point where you are listening more than, I don't know, I guess trying to impress upon your environment, your own thoughts? You know what I mean? Yeah. That, okay. <laughs> Well, what I do, I love to just ask for things mm -hmm. and then begin to acknowledge whenever anything shows up. So if there's something that I would like to have more capacity with, I would ask, okay, where am I already being what I'm asking for that I haven't been acknowledging? So the way that I hear things, quote unquote, sometimes it's a mood, sometimes it's a a sensation in my body sometimes it's a thought so like it comes in all forms and so if I'm looking for it just to come in like language I might miss all of the other ways that it actually is coming mm -hmm. and the ways that I'm so familiar with that I'm like oh yeah well whatever of course doesn't everybody hear things like that <laughs> you know it's those little things that we take for granted that are our language it is our capacity and those already exist and so first what i would do is i would ask where am i already being this that i've not been acknowledging and then destroy and uncreate everywhere that i haven't been acknowledging it and then i just ask for it to please show up even more and make it so obvious that even i notice it <laughs> okay and so then and and go out and ask hey consciousness can you assist me i am asking for this can you assist me to have greater communion or greater awareness of what it is that i'm receiving please and and every all of my expectations i will go ahead and do the work of letting go of my expectations Okay. Can you please assist me and then the thing is that then the journey gets to be tailor made to you Mm -hmm. And it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be about the way that I do it because the way that I do it is based on my, my working with my body and my being, which is totally different than yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That all makes <laughs> a lot of sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And Jamie, you know, like uh, it's just, that's a great example of, um, ask a question and, and receive some more information or awareness to create a different reality with in this case nature spirit so thank you so much for the question because I'm sure it opened a lot up for other people and how many of us um, are not acknowledging what we're already being um, and what we're already receiving and um, yeah so Glad to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I love about these shows is that um, it's not just one person has all the answers. It's like we all have a little bit of piece of the puzzle that when we share it, we can go, oh, oh, I like that. Cool. I'll do that. I can be that. <laughs> okay, cool. So have we got any other questions? It, it seems to be like another question that wants to pop up or maybe Monica wants to say something. Did Melody, did you have a question that you were going to ask? No. Okay. Well, one, one thing that I want to say is it's funny. I, um, I forgot about the timing for this class when I um, put together another class, which is also tonight. It's uh, moving with the earth. So diving even deeper into working with communion with the earth. And it's free, so you all are very invited. It's um, in two hours from now. So I'll throw that in the event. Um, but I, I really am interested in, in stepping into even more of like 
what is what is possible with our bodies and the earth and what contribution can we be through movement and through like moving energy to the earth so so really exploring even more the ways of playing with your capacities as they are unfolding and and for me this is such an adventure like we get to learn about communion with nature spirits from nature spirits <laughs> it doesn't have to be like a conceptual thing that we like try to figure out and then we go do it on the earth we get to discover it with the earth and i have a million and one experiences of asking for something and having a tree show me or having a nature spirit show me what it is that i was asking for and and but the the really the big thing that i have discovered is like dr dane says this all the time it never shows up the way you think it will so it's like you ask for something and then it gets to be this little scavenger hunt in a way of like oh was that what i was asking for i was looking for it over here but it's, oh my god that's it or you know so so it's like our world when we ask these questions all of a sudden our world is just filled with these gems of awareness that are there for us to receive that will expand our lives. I mean, and how cool is that? So I'm really, I'm just so excited that, that all of you are here and even interested in communing with nature spirits. Oh, and so what about if we just did a quick little exercise? Mm, let's do it. Cool, so just as much as you can in this moment, relax and let go of everywhere that you are working hard in any way and especially with trying to figure anything out and expand your zone of awareness through your body through the room you're in and out and out and out and into the earth and all of the plants and animals and all of this space where you are and then go ahead and allow yourself to, to be aware of all of the other people on the call and where they are in the world. And our reach gets to be even further into each other's zone of awareness. We're present with each other now. And everything that you're aware of that is, you know, kind of busy thinking and stuff like that, just relax around it. And then even more, push down your barriers even more. Cool, thank you. And let's ask now for the earth, the entire earth, to, to play with us even more. Let's invite the earth and the spirits of nature to be present with us. And what, what gift can we be to and with and for the earth and what acknowledgement would the earth like to be of each of us that we may not have been receiving so everywhere that the earth is grateful for you and everywhere that the spirits of nature are grateful for you in particular would you challenge yourself to receive that gratitude? And ask for, okay, cool. And then ask for that to grow and to overpower your barriers. What if you could allow and invite the earth and all of the spirits of nature to assist you to knock down the walls that you have erected with as much ease and joy and glory as possible. Cool. Cool. And now what? <laughs> 
Now what else is possible? Cool. Cool. Thank you, Monica. Um, if anybody wants to connect with Monica, how do we do that? My name is Monica Matagilliam, and you can send an email to Monica at monicamatagilliam.com, and I will put my name in the event um, chat, and I'll throw in the link to the class that I'm going to do later. And I'm I have Monica Matagilliam dot com is my website and i'm all over the place so just ask where's monica and i'll probably be right behind you <laughs> yeah so watch out um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming it's been a really great chat um, i'm really looking forward i, I want to put this up around the world because i think there's a lot of great stuff in here that if people uh, people are asking for so yeah. if you want to share this one then please go ahead share it around and uh, we, we'll also put the I'll send the replay out obviously uh, but I'll also put it up on the receiving from nature spirits Facebook page yeah. um, and I get that this particular show you might want to listen to uh, a couple of times because there's a lot of information a lot of awareness in there and the um, exercise is really great to finish off with. So thank you, Monica. Next week, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. Uh, <laughs> we'll be doing something. Uh, I haven't got a, I haven't got another person to chat with, but um, uh, I'll send out the details later on in the week. And uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. What else is truly possible? Um, kisses and hugs to you all. Maybe we'll see you all sometime later on in the year. Ciao for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.